Hey everyone, welcome to another video review. This is the Transformers Generation Selects TTGS-03, I guess, uh, Turtler. I believe this was Snapper in the G1 version. But yes, this is a Takara thing. This is the Hasbro uh, import version, which yes, comes again in this uh, big old Masterpiece-esque slip box, which just has a big old logo on it and says, Authentic Takara Tomi product sold in Japan. And yeah, for the Hasbro logo on there and everything on. It's just mostly uh, black with uh, white text. Pretty much the entire thing over with a little bit of a barcode and a copyrights there. But of course, inside is the uh, Japanese box because that's what they do now. Japanese box, which actually has a look, the wireframe of a uh, turtler here for ages eight and up. See that? Yeah. Little wireframe of you know, two modes there. Um, you got the cardboard there, but and you got the logo on top. You got. Warnings and stuff on the bottom. A QR code. QR codes. And the back, hey, Decepticon symbol and some warning, more warnings and stuff, and don't eat the toy. Yeah, and they also, inside the slip cover, yes, you got the uh, regular cardboard. Which thankfully does not play havoc because there's no, it's not glossy. Yeah, you can use kind of Decepticon symbol, Transformers, and selects a bunch of art, you know, patterns on top all over, and then you know, basically the uh, logo. Everywhere except on the bottom. On the back, there's nothing. Yeah, inside is the this is where the figure would sit. There's a big old Decepticon logo right there. And on the top, upside down for some reason, is the Generation Selects logo for some reason or another. Don't know why. Yeah, that's the packaging. And then, of course, with the figure is stuff coming off the package apparently, and uh, the end instructions. Yep, yeah, instructions which have a bunch of the stuff. It's oops, throw it at the camera, why don't I? But yeah, it's it's you know again pretty straightforward. Again, I don't just like Gulf. I suspect, um, or I suspect I don't like the fact a lot of the accessory stuff is at the very end. I'd find that a little weird, but hey, whatever. It's still very helpful. And yeah, here's Turtler. Turtler, yeah, he is a snapping turtle. He is green and pink and. Again, more pale pink as well. Hot pink and some silver for his claws. And his teeth, yellow on the eyes. The Decepticon symbol on his uh, head right there. The Decepticon symbol on his shell, I guess, of sorts. He's got, he's got guns. He's got a bit of chrome right here. Yeah, he's uh, pretty straightforward, actually, as a turtle. Um, there you go. It's based off the Hunger remold, or mold, which was a... Had shared engineering with hunger with uh, Silverbolt, so uh, just, just not argue about that one, please. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, it's kind of okay here. Um, you got goofy looking rear legs and tiny little front legs, you know, and that sort of stuff. Uh, I feel like these were a little loose initially. I tightened them up with some floor polish. Now they're really tight. Same here. This one's a little looser, but yeah, these are generally tighter. These were really loose. I didn't like it, so floor polish there for those uh, back knees. Which yeah, that's what I can do. Knee wise, the front can uh, rotate forward, not really back because it bunks, banks, bangs into the bottom there. Get rotation there, and you can fold inward at the ball joint. You can do that if you want. Not sure why you do that, but hey, and I just untapped a little bit from there. The head can move up and down a little bit, although doing so exposes all that. You also got another hinge there, it's a double hinge, so you can you know, make his head lower, and yeah, his uh, jaw can open. And there's a little red tongue in there too. It's nice. And you also got that can move, although again, it's going to start unpegging stuff if you move too much. And you can move outward and do that as well. And I guess you can kind of do that as well, but uh, yeah, it just exposed the robot fist, so I wouldn't do that personally. But yeah, articulation, kind of basic, but hey, he's a turtle guy. I mean, sapping turtle though. The nice thing is in this mode, again, you can take all the accessories he has and ball store them on this mode, including his sword, which can peg in underneath right here in that peg hole. Just like this. Simple like that. You got this big old gun, which has a bunch of peg holes on it. You can take and put in this peg hole right here. And it's a little loose, but you know, it works just fine. Then you got the uh, feet, the combiner mode feet right here. You can take these and then you take these side pieces and rotate them up like this and peg them into these 
holes on either side of the right here because there's two of them and now you got a heavily armed snapping turtle which is a little more heavily armed because he already had two cannons now he's got well more cannons you don't want to mess with this guy and the other thing though is um I had to shave down the pegs on both of the feet here because they were really tight again because the pegs were a little too large so uh just an FYI if you uh want to use it and want, not want to break anything or uh, stress plastic or anything just shave those pegs down a little bit not too much just a little bit and it should be fine yeah that's the snapping turtle mode I wish this was a little uh more solid but eh at least the gun right here it's not I think this is probably the weakest of the three modes he has. This is absolutely the weakest because just because there's not much he can do. It's, and also you got just kind of, you can tell, yeah, this was not never really intended to be Tartler, but Hey, there you go. It, yeah. Go into torso mode. You remove all the stuff like that. You move all these things. Yeah. We're going to torso mode first. And then from there, because normally, if you want to go to robot mode, you remove some other stuff, but we're not going to robot mode yet. From there, I'm going to move this a little bit. You take the head, move it down, and there's a little hole there. You tab it in right there. You tab the head right in there. You take this whole piece and move it up and out of the way. Take this, move that inward, and peg it in, or tab it in right there. Rotate that down. Rotate that down and rotate it in here at this. And this tab right here will go into this slot right there, like that. You just want to keep it out of the way for a little bit. Then you take the guns right here. You want to, this pink piece, rather than pulling the gun off, you push this pink piece out like this, rotate it around, and slide it back like this sideways, and then rotate it further back here, and then slide it back in, and there you go. Same thing on this side. Rotate it, you know, slide it out. Move, rotate it out 90 degrees. Slide it backwards and then slide it back in like this and make sure the guns are pointing up like so. I'm going to take the rear legs and straighten them out and tab them in place because there's a little tab there. This. Take the, the feet. Open them up and then move the fist out like this. So it's all rotated back there like this. Same on this one. Rotate these both around. And then take... And I believe that stays like that. Yes, that stays like this. Now, up here, you want to take this and untap these from each other, which they're kind of keyed, so you kind of have to reach behind like this and yeah, do that. Open that up. Take the shield here and rotate it down like this. It's on a hinge right here. You take that and move it down. Take this and open it up and move it backwards. Up and around like this. So... Then right here, you can also take this and move it back up. And then this has a little tab over. This has a tab right here on the head platform, which goes into the little thing behind the neck right here. Like that. Make sure these, these stay tabbed in. Then once you do that, you can go ahead and uh, close this back up. Like that. Then take this this right here. There's a hinge right here You want that the shield's attached. You want to move this up. And while they're doing so, move this hinge down like this. So... That peg goes through that slot and everything. Move it all up and then they'll click into place. And there's these tabs right here on the shield which go in these slots right here. And right there, yeah. I'll kind of want to tab into place. Move these chrome bits up like so. Here's the thing. These don't tab super well, at least not on mine. People said that they've done some fiddling, you know, with the legs and stuff, gotten all lined up and gotten to work properly, but I have yet to do so. Um, do that. That'll work, and then you can take the, the fins on the head and move them outward like this, and then take the guns on the back and extend them out, like just just pull on them until they click into place. Yeah. And there you go. That's pretty much his torso mode. Pretty straightforward. It's you know combined with power of the prime stuff. You know, limbs go into those places. You know, the typical spots. Again, I wish this tabbed in better. People said they got theirs to tab in better, but I don't know. Something just feels off, and I'm not sure what it is exactly, but something's just slightly off. I don't know. It holds up fine enough, but just I just got to be careful about that. 
and figure anything in. No, I didn't think I didn't think so. I did. Yeah, pretty decent. Um, I'll cover it more, but yeah, you got the hips there, and that's pretty much it for the articulation without any of the limbs attached. So that's pretty uh pretty decent in its own in its own right. So uh, there you go. All right, now getting into robot mode from here. One thing you want to fold these back down. Just fold them back down. Uh, take the cannons and compress them back down, and go ahead and take the, the fins here and squeeze them back down. Take the head platform, move it up, move this down, and go ahead and remove the cannons entirely. You're going to want to do that for uh, robot mode. Take this piece. Move it down, yeah, move that, and then take the shield and move it off. Like this, just remove the shield piece right here. Take that and move that back up, and go ahead and push it back down. Take this and separate them, take the head, make sure those fins are pulled in, and then slot it back into its little place and make sure it clicks. Take the legs here, these are the legs, and yeah, unfold them like this. And rotate them forward like that. This is the back side of the robot. You take the feet and move them down. They're, they're not, they're, uh, they're held in place with these little tabs on the side. But yeah, move them down like this and then take these pieces and move them back and tab them in the place on the back side, like so. Actually, we're back here, since I'm back here already, take this piece and yeah, you're gonna have to pull the head back out. Then take this, move it down, make take this panel, move it down. Yeah, you gotta move three different panels to get the head, just get the head out. Get the head out and rotate it back up, around. Take this and uh, this tab will go into that slot on the panel. You did it right, and then that moves up, and then that moves up and clicks back into place. And yeah, and then we can come to the front. Get him standing properly. Take this whole chest piece, rotate it around, and bring it up and tab it into place. Take the shoulders, rotate it around. Take the hands here and move them back into place, and then take the turtle feet and move them back around right, around right here. Untab this from the rest of the arm and rotate it around so it's facing forward. Do the same on this side. Rotate that around. Put the hand back into place like that. Rotate this around and untab it and make the minor adjustments you need to. Including yeah, getting the legs straightened out because the legs are a little wonky on this guy sometimes, I swear. I'm gonna raise the camera and there you go. There's Turtler's robot mode. Yep. Lots of parts forming, by the way, if you can not notice, yeah, that the shield has to come off and the guns have to come off. And oh, yeah. Other thing is, yeah, bringing the guns back on, you gotta come back here and uh, just peg them in there like this. Peg them in those, those holes right there. There you go. I mean, now he's got these massive cannons on the back, but hey, you can do that. Who doesn't want massive cannons on the back? <laughs> yeah, that's the robot mode. Um, looks pretty good. I, I think this is this part particular is pretty clever the, with the, the head and the, the turtle head and the feet or legs, I guess you should say. I think that's pretty. I feel, find that pretty clever, particularly if you know we actually fully tab that in like you're supposed to. Um, yeah, everything else is like it's very familiar. If you already had hunger, it's very familiar. Um, there's a lot about. It. I wish this they still had the uh, knee pads or whatever the that stuff, but it doesn't. So now you just see the combiner mode mode ports just hanging out on his knees. Wish that was not a ca the case, but eh. this is weird. I it's just absurd to me that you have to move three different panels just to get the head out. Just because of they really clearly this was never intended to be turtler, but they made it work. It made it work, but yeah, it was clearly never intended. Um, but yeah, the color scheme is still largely the same. Uh, the nice bit of, on the head with the silver and the yellow eyes. Nice sculpting. You can see that it's that weird, uh, weird faceplate. If you, I'm not sure. Yeah, it's that weird kind of. Yeah, it's a weird looking faceplate, but I think it looks cool. Yeah, um, it's it's the unfortunate thing is it still has a, shares the uh, same limitations as uh, the previous version of this mold, namely stuff like weirdly thin thighs and massive shins. Uh, 
Well, now there's also because of this how this works. It's a little limiting on the arms. There's just this being this wide just makes it put some limitations on the articulation in the arms, which will get into articulation a little bit. Actually, I'll do it right now. Why not? Why not? Right. The head though, head's on the ball joint, which is nice. So left and right, up and down a little bit, a little bit of waggle. It's pretty good, actually, a little head, honestly. Shoulders are ratcheted. Although the weird thing, I'm not sure if something's broken or what on mine, because yeah, the shoulders. You can hear them click pretty hard going forward, but going back, it's a lot softer and squeakier. You got full rotation there. You got pretty stiff ratchet there. You got a bicep swivel. Elbows go about 90 degrees forward. Crystal doesn't think there's nose waist. That's the still limitation of the mold. Hips have a bit of a ratchet going forward. Back, outwards is a soft ratchet. Goes all the way out. Got a thigh swivel. Knees are double jointed, so you got that. And yeah, you got that knee, and then you got that further knee. Although you can't get as far without, you know, untransforming, and then things start banging into each other. And you don't really want to do that too much. The feet, though, those are ball jointed. They're interesting little ball joints. Like a, there's a little hinge there, and then a ball joint on a L stem, and then yeah, that, that gives you the forward and back and side to side. It's all there, and you know, there's some limitations because of the sculpting, but yeah, it's overall pretty solid. The only thing is, because of how the feet work, he's a little difficult sometimes to get to stand straight um, straight up. Um, I've had trouble with that. See, he's always try he keeps trying to lean backwards, and I have to lean him forward just slightly. Yeah, it, you can see the legs are just really odd. So it's like, if you want the legs straightened out, it, doesn't work as well as it should. So yeah, and then so it's it can you can get to work. It's just a lot more a lot more work than it really should be to get a wheel stand up straight and not fall backwards. That stinks. But um, the accessories though, it's you got this thing which you know is shield, which you can be a buckler. You know you got to use the massive center hole and just put that over the arm there. There you go, buckler. He's got his sword which. And go his hands. I've heard that basically the uh, this left hand is a little small. I've heard, but yeah, I can get the sword in this fine. You can hold this gun. You can hold this gun if you want. Again, it's a little tight, but also this was clearly you can see all these peg holes. This is clearly it's going to build up into stuff. I believe it does peg up, build up into something for the uh, combined mode on one of the one of the combiner gun guys. I think, if I recall correctly. I also like to take this and uh, do that. Give him an arm cannon. Why not? Arm cannons are cool. You can do that. Another thing, these are, by default, you're actually supposed to have these uh, inward, this part. But yeah, it shows you right there. You just move these out like this. And then you can uh, take the combiner feet. And now you got guns on his legs. So yeah, now he's really armored up. If you really want. Again, nice thing is all the accessories have a place on this robot mode as well. Um, you know, that's really nice. I like that. There's a good place for every single accessory, I feel. None of them uh, feel like too too awkward. I guess, well, the kind of the, the leg things do. But they're still, they're guns. I mean, there's something. The other thing is if you don't want them holding the sword for whatever reason, which be a little stubborn to get out. If you don't want them holding the sword, you can actually take this. Right here in this this peg right here on the sword either direction you can do either direction you can just uh peg it in there's just enough space for it you don't want to peg it in all the way because then you're going to bend it but yeah just put space here for it on the on the shield and then you can mount the shield on the arm and there you go now it's got the sword behind the shield can you no nah, if too bad you can't uh put on the back without removing the guns because then you could have you know Kind of Legend of Zelda it right there with Link and everything. I think, yeah, the big thing, other thing I would complain about, um, yeah, the other thing I would complain about is that sometimes this comes off a little too easily. The chest piece untabs a little easily and whatnot. That's the other thing. It's just because of that. So, um, yeah. Yeah, I guess my biggest complaints about this guy are simply just, well, the feet just can be a pain. The feet and ankles can be just kind of a pain to get him to pose without him falling over. It's just something to, I mean, they can get him to 
get him to you know stand pretty fine okay for the most part but yeah just sometimes you just it's just you get in the wrong, exact wrong position and just they collapse on you so that's a little frustrating that's the weird thing they're really not loose and really not not unless i just think it's just simply the size compared to the rest of it it's just eventually all the weight is just going to cause them to collapse regardless of how tight the feet are so that's that kind of stinks but yeah, and there's just kind of clearly stuff like you can tell this was never intended to be this this character, and it, it's sometimes really particularly with the turtle mode. The turtle mode's kind of lame, I'll be honest. It's not amazing. It just kind of looks it, it's it's trying clearly, but I think it's the weakest of the three modes. But I think it's robot mode's pretty solid looking. The torso mode looks really good. It's always been a good torso mode for any version of this, including any uh, figures it shares engineering with. Just to, just saying. And I think it's over a solid it's 60 bucks or so, I think. Like 50, 50, 60 dollars was the retail price. Again, that's that weird thing of it's because to cars actually engineering it's success. It is retail price, not import price. So it's I think kind of it's a little on the ooh, that's a little spendy, but it's still kind of worth it just for the sake of the whole set of Seacons. And yeah, I know he's pretty much sold out everywhere, but it's supposedly again, Takar is gonna be doing the Beast Wars 2, maybe version repaint to these guys so there's that so if you ever want to pick up the version of the mold instead this probably will help you in that regard it's a good solid retool of uh hunger i would say that was a pretty solid torso although i recall that was i felt the weakest of the terracons so this is probably going to wind up being the ter- weakest of the secons but he's necessary if you want the big combiner guy and he, he's a pretty decent robot pretty good torso pretty darn good torso but really very very much trying so hard robot mode or turtle mode but i like him if you can get him for uh retail go for it if you can't no just wait for the hopefully wait 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 for the hopeful repaint anyway that's it i hope you like this i hope you found informative or entertaining hope you like comment subscribe uh, check out patreon coffee my twitter i'm at nemesis prime one and i see you next see you next time with another video review.